welcome to the session of engineering mechanics in this session we will try to understand one of the important principle of dynamics that is d lambert's principle uh, d lambert principle is nothing but uh, it is an alternative form of newton's law of motion which helps to write the equation of motion for dynamic system basically what we do we add a virtual force on in on the dynamic system so that we can write uh, equation of motion for the dynamic system by considering it as a static system to understand this uh, uh, let's consider a problem where we are having a mass m and four different forces f1 f2 f3 and f4 are acting on mass m1 or m and because of all these forces the system is not moving let's consider the first case where the system is stationary and if the system is stationary we can write the equation for the static equilibrium which says that the total forces of the total force acting on the system will be zero or the sum of all the forces will be zero we can write this in two way we can uh, write the all the horizontal forces will be zero and summation of all the vertical forces will be zero or we can write the vector equation where the four forces will be uh, the summation of the four forces will be zero now let's consider the second case where we assume that because of all the four forces the system is moving or we can say that the summation of all the forces is not zero and if the forces will not be equalize each other there will be a resultant force on the system which will try to move the system with certain acceleration so now we are having a system where the four forces are not balancing each other and because of that there will be resultant acceleration a uh, and system is moving so now from the newton's law we can say that the, all the forces will be equal to a value mass into the acceleration so the based on this philosophy d lambert principle says that okay you are having four forces and because of the four forces the system is moving so let's make the system static by adding a virtual force of ma a magnitude m into a so please understand what we are doing we were having four forces and because of the four forces the system is moving with certain acceleration a and now what we are doing we are adding an additional force of magnitude m a and because of this m a the now the system will be considered as an equivalent static system and now if i will write the equation for this static system which is actually moving but i have considered this system an equivalent static system the total forces minus mass into acceleration quantity will become zero so let's summarize the principle that what we are having we are having a system where four forces are acting on the system and because of the four forces the system is moving with certain acceleration a now what we have done based on the principle uh, the uh, d lambert principle we have added an additional force and because of the additional force now the system has become an equivalent stationary system and now i am writing its equation of motion by considering it as an static system so the summation of all the forces along with the additional force will be zero so basically the d lambert principle helps to write the equation of motion of a dynamic system by considering a virtual force and this virtual force is nothing but is known as the inertial force so now let's take one example a very simple example where we are having four uh, three masses connected with the strings and this two strings are inextensible that means the length of the string will not change due to the force and we are having a force f and because of the force f the system is moving with acceleration a there will be tension in the string named by t1 and t2 and we have to find the tension in terms of mass acceleration and force so what we can do first we have to make the free body diagram of three systems or three masses for mass m3 uh there will be only one tension so t2 will be the force and the system is moving with acceleration a 
For the second mass, I will be having tension T1 acting towards the right and tension T2 acting towards the left and the system is moving with acceleration A. Similarly, for the third mass, there will be force F and tension T1. So now we have to write equation of motion for the three masses. So let's assume or let's consider one convention that what we will do we will consider that the direction of motion will be positive that means what we will do we will consider all the forces acting in the direction of motion will be positive and then we will write the equation for example let's i want to write the equation for the third mass as the mass is moving in this direction this will be my positive direction and for the so that the f will be positive t1 will be negative and these two will be equal to the mass into acceleration basically what we are doing we are taking mass uh, m3 and these two forces are there on mass m3 now what we will do we will consider an additional virtual inertial force which will make the dynamic system as an equivalent static system and now i am writing the equation for this system so we can say that this f1 minus t1 will be balanced by m3 a similarly i can write the equation for the second mass where this is the direction of motion so t1 will be positive t2 will be negative and these two will be balanced by m2 a similarly for the first there is only one force so t2 that is in positive direction because the mass is moving in this direction will be balanced by m3 a so uh, please uh, recollect all these things that what we have done we have assumed that the this direction of motion will be positive so all the forces acting in this direction will be considered positive t1 will be acting in opposite to the direction of motion so it will be negative and this will be my equation of motion now let's take an, another problem where we are having a pulley and the two masses m1 and m2 are suspended through the inextensible string and there will be tension t t because there is no friction in the pulley so tension at the both side of the pulley will be same t and t and let's assume that the mass m1 is more than m2 so that the total system will move that m1 will go in the downward direction and m2 will go in the upward direction and we have to find the acceleration or tension so first what we will do we will make the free body diagram let for mass m1 the mass is moving in the downward direction there will be a gravitational force acting in the downward direction m1g and a tension force t in the upward direction similarly for m2 the m2 is moving in the upward direction acceleration will be in the upward direction in the tension and m2g if I will write the equation of motion considering the D'Alembert principle. The direction of motion will be positive, so m1g will be positive, t will be negative. So my equation will be m1g minus t, and that will be balanced by m1a. Similarly, in the second case, the mass is moving in the upward direction, so t will be positive and m2g will be negative, so t minus m2g is equal to m2a. Now let's take a numerical problem where we are having two masses. M M connected with a pulley, and now I am putting an additional mass of small m, and because of the small m, the total weight at the right hand side will be higher, and because of that, the system will move so such that the this combined masses will go in the downward direction, and the mass at the opposite side will go in the upward direction. And we have to write the uh, we have to find the value of m. So what we can do? We can make a free body diagram where the total mass is going in the downward direction. So this will be positive and the t will be negative. Here is the m plus m g minus t that will be balanced by the total mass into acceleration. For the second mass, my equation will be t minus m g that will be m a. When I will solve these two equation, I will get that the value of the small m will be two m a by g minus a. Now let's take another problem where I am having two masses m one and m two. M one is resting on a platform where the tension is uh, where the friction is uh, coefficient of friction is one by three. A string connecting mass m1 and m2 through a pulley where friction is zero, and these two masses are 53.4 kilogram and 44.5 kilogram. 
and it is given that the mass m2 is moving in the downward direction with an acceleration a as it is moving with acceleration a the second mass will also move with the same acceleration a and we have to find the value of acceleration so let's write the equation of motion for the first mass is the tension is acting in this direction and the mass will go in this direction the frictional force will act in the opposite direction so this is my frictional force acting towards the leftward this is my normal reaction which will be equal to the mass into gravitational acceleration m1g here is the tension as uh, i know that the direction of motion will be positive so my t will be positive and the frictional force will be negative if i will balance the horizontal forces uh, this is basically summation of horizontal forces so t minus mu n will be balanced by the acceleration into the mass m1a when i will put the numerical value i am getting t minus 174.44 is equal to m1a that is 53.4 a if i will write the equation for the second mass the mass is going in the downward direction so acceleration will be in the downward direction the tension and m2g will be uh, upward and downward respectively as i know that the downward direction will be positive my m2g will be positive minus t is equal to m2a when i will put the numerical value this m2 will be 44.5 into 9.8 minus t 44.5 a so now these are my two equations if i will sub add these two equation i'll cancel the t will be cancel out and finally i am getting a value of acceleration that is 2.675 meter per second